Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to talk about mixing PLA and TPU. Now, I know uh, from Ghostbusters, it's not good to mix the streams, but hey, I went ahead and did it anyway. So I used the GTAC A10M to mix TPU and PLA, and this is the results I got, which was rather interesting. Now, yes, it's a a little bit ugly of a part but it's an interesting experiment in material science and this is one of the reasons I wanted to get the A10M is I want to experiment with mixing different filaments together and see what happens and and so one of the first logical ones at least that I thought was uh, using the um, TPU and PLA together since they're fairly close in temperature and kind of differing in consistency where a mix might be interesting versus, versus that of say ABS and, and PLA. So I took and I mixed the two at a 50-50 uh, mix ratio. Now what I did is I used the GTEC mixer so I did it at 100 percent and this is the results that I, I, I received, which is rather interesting. So I used the Chet Pawn, which I like to use as my standard. It prints quick. It's got some unique attributes to it, so you see the forming. Uh, and I'll do also some overlays of the time lapse of it printing, as well as um, some microscopic overlays of, of, of imaging it. Now, one of the things you can see in the time lapse, as well as the uh, actual object or the chess piece is it started out as extruder zero with the PLA uh, definitely seemed to be predominant and then the other ones worked in now I primed both extruders so I pushed filament so uh, actually TPU was in in extruder one uh, PLA was in extruder zero I primed, T I primed extruder 1 with the TPU first, and then extruder 0 with the PLA. So it took some time for the TPU to catch back up. Now I used white PLA, black TPU, so we could kind of see the, the difference. Um, and, and I noticed a couple things about the process. Now, number one, it's a mixing printer, and I, I don't think it truly mixes. I mean, I, th I believe the filament actually competes entering the um, hot end. And, and so it's kind of one or the other kind of together, if you know what I mean. So it's not like it feeds into a mixing bowl, gets mixed up with some auger, and comes out. Um, and this is where I, I kind of found it rather interesting because there are definitely pieces in here um, where I've written down here synchronization of extruders because on this front part you can see here there's more PLA than there is TPU but on the back there's more TPU than PLA so what I'm trying to say here is the the extruders are out of sync and I think they do that intentionally to in the firmware to to kind of mix um, for example colored PLA but what this kind of happens is it kind of leaves it one one side is uh, has more PLA than TPU the other side has more TPU than PLA now I, I I gotta say this is really an interesting I wish you guys could feel this this is an interesting material so it, it's not quite TPU and it's not quite PLA which I guess that's what you would expect um, but it is somewhat flexible but yet far more rigid um, and it's also a bit like the PLA is somewhat encapsulated in the TPU where the TPU is more prominent. Now, I, I think if I were to try this for a part, and I think this could be interesting, I'm going to try it in some future videos, is actually use more like maybe 75% or a higher percentage of TPU and use that as an encapsulation agent over top of the PLA, um, or with the PLA, I shouldn't say over, over top, but with the PLA. I think that might be more interesting. I also received some strange artifacting, and I think some of this has to do with retraction and flow rates um, uh, of this, because obviously the retraction rates, and, and oh, the other thing I think I forgot to write down here is cooling, it is a cooling fan, is how do you cool for a mixed object like this. I don't think that had so much to do with it as retraction and flow rates. Um, because one of the things with the mixer, it, it, mixer software from GTEC, uh, which I'll also have links to all this below, um, 
so if you want to come out and if you want to come and get it you want to get the printer you want to try some of this stuff I'll have a resource page set up on the DIY site so don't worry about about those links you're going to look for them just look below uh, so so again I found this rather interesting now I printed the combined material at 210 60 degree bed and uh, you know it, it, for what it was it came out rather interesting now the other thing I'm going to do is if you guys remember I for uh, Dr. Dave and the CR10 I did um, sort of a priming code G code to go into the slicer I'm going to develop a specific primer code for this to prime both nozzles and, and mix and match so I'm going to play around with that watch for a video on that that'll come out pretty soon and I'll post that code out on the website too so you can grab that for free if you want but um, I, I think everybody's, you know, kind of interested what happens if you start mixing filament. So I'm going to play around with this. I'm also going to play around mixing PETG with PLA, too, and see what happens. And I'm also going to come up and try different combinations in various parts for this. Um, but the first thing I wanted to do, the first step, is I wanted to see how the mixing process would work and this is how it's come out so it's rather interesting I mean I'm not overly surprised I didn't expect perfection you know when you're mixing two totally different um, material properties but this is really what at least in my book experimenting with material science is all about is taking you know these strange things trying to mix them together and, hey seeing what you got now you could probably go with the Elton Brown approach and maybe get a little bit more scientific and, and look at the copolymers of this and blah 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 but sometimes it's just interesting to throw the two together in a pot and see what happens so and that's what I did with this and I'm sharing it with you guys so hopefully you found it interesting if you did give it a big thumbs up uh, again I'll have links to getting the um, uh, GTEC mixer and related information printer everything down below I'll set up a whole resource page for this out on the site so if you're interested again just follow that link and you'll get all this stuff don't forget hit the subscribe button do the bell next to it release regular content Swag shop up in the corner, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we mix something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.